Hello, my fellow Tesla lovers. No, uh, the title of this video is not clickbait. I really did get thrown out of the Tesla store. And in a couple of minutes, I will be sharing with you that footage. And I'm gonna explain to you why I think this should have never happened. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Why was I at the Tesla store? Well, because I was there to film the footage for 10 reasons why you should buy a Tesla. Now, let me explain to you why I even wanted to do the video. Let's go back to September of 2018. Ryan McCaffrey, he tweeted uh, saying that he was asking Tesla car owners to volunteer their time so that they could help you know, with the sales and deliveries of Model 3s. I thought that was amazing. When I saw that, it just made me feel like that big you know, Tesla community. And it made me feel so good to be a Tesla owner. And you know, even Elon loved it so much that he responded back to him saying, thank you so much for wanting you know, to volunteer your time and asking others to do the same. Fast forward to two weeks ago, I read an article in Tesla Rowdy website talking about how owners, Tesla owners in China were volunteering their time to help out with uh, deliveries and helping to explain and show the car to potential buyers. Now I thought this was just wonderful because the Tesla community wasn't just in the United States, now it's international, it's even in China. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna see the similar things in Europe, but it just made me feel amazing. So I went into the Tesla store with my little heart full of Tesla love and you know my little notepad with all the things that I wanted to share with you guys. I asked for permission, I received it, and I proceeded to film as I had done in the past. Like when I filmed, you know, the my Model 3 delivery, which if you haven't seen it, it's really funny. You should go see it. And I also filmed what the color of your Tesla says about you, what it says about your personality. Now, after I received the okay, I started filming as usual, you know, sharing with you guys, you know, why you should buy a Tesla. When a couple of minutes later, a woman comes up to me and this happens. Oh no. Okay. Même si je suis propriétaire d'une Tesla. Alors même si je voulais me prendre une photo avec l'auto. Now this is funny, you can take a picture in front of the cars in the showroom, but you can't do a video. Does she know a series of pictures can make a video? Okay. Non, really. Okay. Okay. Non, je sais, tout était pour moi. Okay. Okay. Oui. Now, I wish, I truly wish that I had continued filming past this point because this is where things got really interesting. After I stopped filming, she says to me, I remember you from when you bought your Model X. You're really nice. And I remember thinking to myself, like, this is the strangest thing to say to somebody at this point in the conversation. And then I realized, this lady must think that, you know, I look like a unicorn that poops marshmallows and sneezes glitter, and that I'm gonna say yes to whatever she asked me to do next. Well, she was wrong. So she proceeded to ask me, uh, no, not ask me. She demanded that I erase all the footage that I had just filmed in front of her, right then and there. And of course I said no. I said, listen, look, <laughs> what do you have? A court mandate saying I have to do it? Show it. Or call the police, do whatever you have to, but I'm not gonna erase it. Okay, now at that point I was feeling more like a flamethrower, if you know what I mean. But I stayed calm because I didn't want the employee who said yes to me to get in trouble. And I didn't want to get in trouble. You know, it's just like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm leaving, that's it, but don't ask me to erase the content because I'm not gonna do it and you can't force me to do it. Now I think this is just, this whole situation was absurd. I think that it should have never happened because as a Tesla employee, she should know firsthand about the Tesla struggle, okay? I was in no way trying to portray the words or thoughts or whatever of Tesla. I'm portraying my words, my thoughts. This is my channel. You guys saw the name of it? Sulai. Even though I tried to explain to her, listen, this is for my channel and I in no way try to make believe that I am representing Tesla. I am just representing myself as a Tesla owner, sharing with other viewers my love for Tesla. 
and the, all of the Tesla products. To me, this is like the dealers, the car dealers that are trying to stop Tesla stores from opening. It's that ridiculous. I mean, it's a Tesla employee who's not recognizing that, you know, what I do and what all other Tesla owners do, whether it be making videos or giving test drives, you know, to your neighbor to share with others how amazing your car is. You know, we're all doing our part to help out Tesla. I think it's unfortunate. I think that it should have never happened. I'm still gonna continue doing videos. If they erase the video, well then so what? If they erase the video, you will now know why. And hopefully you'll get to see it before they erase it. But just know I'm still going to be sharing with you uh, my love for Tesla. I thank you so much for letting me share this with you, for hearing me out, and I hope I see you later. Till next time, bye. And please, if you're a lawyer, if you're gonna tell me, oh, she was within her rights, yeah, I get it, I get it, okay? I'm not, you know, dumb, okay? I would have preferred, you know, that she tells me, you know, we prefer that you not do it, but to try and tell me that I have to erase my content in front of her, I feel like that was, that was too much, it was unnecessary, and she didn't have the right to do that either, which is why I was able to walk out of there with the content. I wanna tell you guys that I am proud to be the unofficial Tesla ambassador, that I will continue to be the unofficial Tesla ambassador as long as I live. I'm spreading the good Tesla word. What don't you understand?